Hello and welcome to this video in which I am going to teach you how to customize your own layout in the program. Now if you have the um, new default you will have a button at the top here called simply layout 8. If you click on it uh, you will be presented with a completely blank layout. Um, this will then allow you to create layouts uh, by combining windows in any way you want. Now, in order to create layout, um, all you have to do is open up the windows that you wish to display and link them together appropriately. So if we right click on the screen, the first op the only option will appear is to open a new window and then we can choose the kind of window that we open up. So we can start off with a list of shares. I'm gonna open up the FTSE 100 list. Click, and then we can move around and resize the window in any way you want. Uh, so I want a small vertical list. I'm going to choose a different table. There we go. Choose this one so I can fit the FTSE 100 list in a small little window on the left hand side. I then want to add a graph to this layout. So again, right click, new window and select historical graph. I'm going to resize it because I want to add other things as well. Now, you'll probably notice that the share that is displayed on the graph uh, and the share that is selected on the list are different. That's because by default, any new window is uh, that's opened up by a program is an independent window. So it has is not linked to any of the others. In order to link them, you can right click on the heading of the window that we wish to link can select link window and we choose which window we want to link it with in this case there's of course only one option click and now the two windows are linked now this allows you to combine windows in different ways for example I could open a list of foreign exchange pairs which I'm going to place on the right hand side and then I open another graph which I'm going to link with the foreign exchange list so now my list on the left is linked on the graph at the top. The list on the right is linked to the graph at the bottom. If you want to unlink the windows and put them uh, back to being independent windows, you can right click on the heading and select unlink window. Do the same at the top. Now you might have noticed that on the context menu, on right click, there's a second linking option which is called auto link. Now, Autolink doesn't link the window to a specific other window, but simply it links it to the last instrument that was selected anywhere else. I'll show you. If we select Autolink and Autolink, if I click on one of the Forex pairs on the right hand side, the two graphs, identical graphs, will display that Forex pair. If I click on the list on the left, then the share selected on the list on the left will appear on the two graphs. This allows us to create layouts with multiple lists that affect then individual windows on the layout. Now in this new example, I have created a, a slightly more complex uh, layout with uh, the two lists I had before but a few more uh, extra a few extra graphs and a quotes list as well now when opening windows and repositioning them you don't have to be very precise um, if you go to the window menu you'll see an option called arrange windows what that will do it will arrange your windows and fill in any gaps that you might have uh, left by when uh, uh, when placing those windows and voila they are all now placed perfectly on the screen 
Another thing is if you're creating uh, layouts, you might not remember which window was linked with which. Um, if uh, in that case, what you can rely on is this two little two digit number that appears in the top left hand corner of each window. Two digit number, the same number means that the windows are linked. So we have 04, 04, 04, and 04. These four windows are linked. 02 here is linked with a list 02 here. And this one, 07, ah, this one is uh, by itself. It's an independent window. So we want to link it with a list on the right. And we can now select foreign exchange to now complete the layout. Once you've finished creating the layouts and have it exactly the way that uh, you want it, you can lock the layout to prevent uh, any accidental changes, like accidentally shutting down one of the windows. Each window will have a little padlock icon. Uh, press any one of them and select lock layout. Click. And now you can lock the layout, uh, preventing uh, a window from moving, adding, or closing. Uh, you can uh, prevent any of the links to be um, being changed. Uh, you can prevent the type of window being changed, i.e. changing from a graph to a detail screen by maybe accidentally, accidentally hitting one of the shortcut keys. Uh, locking the underlying list, i.e. you won't be able then to change the FTSE 100 list to a different list or the 4x list on the right to another different list and setting table i.e. the table that we're using on the FTSE 100 and the foreign exchange list uh, will not be uh, we will not be able to modify that if you don't want to lock uncheck lock layout and click on OK if you have a particularly uh, small window a uh, small monitor you can uh, grasp a little bit more from the each windows by removing the title bar. If we go uncheck show title bar, it will eliminate the title at the top of each of the windows. You won't see the description of what the window is anymore, but especially if you've got a small monitor and you have a lot of windows, that can save you quite a significant amount of space. All the options uh, are still available. All you have to do is right click on the area at the top of the chart and the same menu will appear. That's all for this training video. Uh, as always, if you want to contact us, uh, the support uh, contact numbers and emails are available by pressing the support button here at the top right of your screen. Uh, otherwise, you can go to our website where you'll find uh, other training videos and documentation. And um, as always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening and goodbye.